In this video, we will show how you can use Seesaw and Canvas together. As a reminder, Seesaw is an optional companion platform that you can use in addition to using Canvas. Our recommendation is that you launch in Canvas, then have a student do an activity or a journal entry in Seesaw and land back in Canvas. In this video, we will show just how to do that. We will also provide separate videos that show how you can actually make this module, as well as what it looks like from the student perspective on a Chromebook and an iPad. In this video though, we will just focus on what it looks like after it's been created so you can get an idea of what that experience might be. Here I have a page in Canvas inside a module. I have provided a video for my students to watch. I have also provided this link to a direct Seesaw activity that I want my students to do but not turn back in. That's the reason it's on a page and not on an assignment. When my students click this link, it will take them directly to the Seesaw activity I would like for them to complete. Once they are done, they can close the Seesaw window and it takes them right back to Canvas. Then they can click the Next button. Here, I have a secondary video for them to watch. This could also be an article for them to read or a graphic organizer to look at. When they're done, they can click the Next button. Here you will now see an actual assignment. It includes instructions for how I would like for my students to submit their Seesaw activity in Canvas, as well as a GIF showing those steps. Again, when my students click this link, it will take them to the direct activity in Canvas. Once the student has submitted the activity, they are able to click on these three dots and share their post. Then they can copy this link and submit that in Canvas. Let's take a look at what that looks like in SpeedGrader after it's been submitted. Once I click on SpeedGrader, I am able to see this link. When I click on it, it loads their Seesaw activity right in SpeedGrader. Then I can use the rubric to provide their score as well as provide feedback. I can then click through my students and be able to see all of their Seesaw activities right in Canvas. Hopefully this video has given you an idea of how you can launch from Canvas and then land back in Canvas while also utilizing all of the wonderful tools of Seesaw. Be sure to check out our other videos for how to create this module as well as see it from the student perspective.